What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be playing God of War again, and this is part three of me playing it. So if you're gonna enjoy this, make sure you like and subscribe, and let's get started. So now we're gonna go back to the original realm. And we're gonna continue the story. We have the light to Midgard. So basically we're just gonna like follow the story. Now let's go to where? Let's return to Midgar. It's crazy to think that all the realms exist in the same space. One on top of the other. It's like this room lets us travel without moving. Yeah, that's crazy. We just came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not in that order. Did you let that seed sop put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on her girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. Huh. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. Alright, first let me just see. Forget it. I'll wait till it's time for me to travel through the door. What's it gonna be this time? Okay, I'll try to get like more parts to get that. Wait, what? Ancient heart, ancient rubble. Okay, that's so, uh, you sticking around for grains of wisdom? Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. We're going to the Black Breath. We rode past that statue of Thor earlier, when we left the witch's cave. And what direction is that? It's mid-morning, the sun is over there, so... That's south. Southwest? Good. Yes, we're doing oh. this!
There. Magic is still covering those scorn poles. Saves us some time. Yes, it does. Hmm, this is used to go back up. I think I could carry here now. No. But I... I said no. Okay. So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would ah, know the better than I. Oh, I thought. Thanks. Now watch your step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Well, there's the black breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. I thought the fog was gone. I go off from here. I take it that's just a zip down. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> Come on, boy. It's working. She was right. Come, let us finish this. This is beautiful. Huh. It is actually blocked. You know, Mother said the giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Teodenheim? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. The mouth! We made it! More black breath.
Defense did come here. Hmm. Is that a deer? I don't remember stories of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. Nothing. What does it say? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree, doth know my call. Hmm. Do we just close this for now? Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna uh, th I'm gonna make a thumbnail photo. All done. Now let's go. Tris. Ready yourself, boy. That didn't work either. Oh, how do you think that got up there? I don't know how that got up there. This place must have been important to the giants. It's like they're testing us. Okay, that looks right. The floor boy. It doesn't mean anything. Something's missing. Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Ross. What you doing? Maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants need to test us further. Oh, it's a door. I honestly thought that was like some kind of path. There's a crystal in that torch hole. Should I light it? That helps, right? Guess we have to go down and go up. These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. I am always serious. I forget it. Yes, he is. You never took an interest no one mess with Kratos. He is a god. Like, actually. What of the world serpent? Yeah, his father okay, is Zeus. Giant also means big. And I take no it his one. brother is Hercules or someone. Or some crap like that. And his son is Atreus. And he had a daughter, but she died. So that's why he won't let his son, like, do anything dangerous like this. Because he lost his daughter and he does not want to lose his son. Because he cares. You hear that, Atreus? He cares for you. Your father cares for you.
was that? Adequate. Stay away from my son. That's a good way to end the fight when you're about to die. It was obvious. I could see it. Wait, huh? Hold on one second, guys. Problem solved. Let's see what we got. Apple, 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 apple. Nah. Well, only one more, and I'll have another full, full fire ability. Now, anyways, let's continue this story. Now we gotta get that energy crystal all the way there. I have a feeling that this video might be a little bit short, like maybe an hour, like maybe an hour or 40 minutes. Like I honestly wanna make a two hour video, but I think I'll just record for an hour and 40 minutes because to be fair, today SMG4 is gonna be posting a movie and I wanna do a live stream of me reacting to it.
Okay, are we supposed to go here? Oh yeah, we are. Sorry about that, I just kind of forgot about this level because uh, this is a it's honestly been a while since I played God of War, so yeah, I kind of forgot about this level. Bye bye. Tell me what you see. Well, oh, God, they look I love like that men, voice. Giants. Correct. Be you seeking treasure? See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. Be grateful, these stay dead. I love that voice. The statue. We made it across. Can you read it? Yes, sir. Oh, this is Durothron, one of the four stags of the World Tree. He's supposed to watch the entrance to Yudnan while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? I do not know. I've seen this language before. Right the deer. I see. is still our goal. We find a way up. It's a name, I think. Brasley. It means terror. Where? Oh, here. What's that? Weird. There's a candle all taken up with string and some sort of animal hide. Some kind of lantern? No wick, though. That is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. Hey, what do you think about these torches? The dead don't need light. They're just in case. Claw reaches the summit. Our goal is near. All right. How do we use it? Yeah, I kind of forgot about this one. I think. I think I see how this works. The claws on one side, mm -hmm. and if we get this unstuck. Whoa. I think the rope stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Don't be sorry. Be better. Stop. But maybe we can find our way up through there. After, you know, getting rid of those things. Behind you, 
Ah. Wondering who woke up that what is it, dwarf? There's this alchemist on Bari. Been working out in the Velander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Where's the fancy green ring? Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Dunbari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. All right, what'd you break? Hmm. Suit yourself. Wait, actually, I want to check something. Let's get you squared away, then. I think I'll get this one, but I need uh, I need at least like 500 more. Okay, there's one of Odin's uh, ravens. How big is this place? It is a mountain. Big. There. In the first try. Hell yeah. More traps. There's a tunnel, but you won't fit. Fake it. Okay. Wait, this is part of it. I didn't realize that. Forget that. Maybe there's a way through that big gate up there? Oh! 
Stuff. If it is not useful, leave it alone. I know. Look at that. Just in case. Let's see what you have. No see what you got. Eventually, you'll have to tell Atreus that you're a god. And that's my favorite line from Kratos. When he say, I'm a god boy. You did it! I think we can make the rope wheel work now. Why give us the way to the top? And also, speaking of gods, I've watched Loki. Oh. Speaking of gods, I've watched Loki and it's amazing.
All right, my time. Die. 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 And die. How? Frozen flame. Sweet. I'll give this to Brock later. Dude, I just healed. Back to the wheel. Get Alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If you're smart, you'll find him. The other three. And don't be letting that spit pister of a brother of mine lay hands on it again. Always a pleasure. Now fuck right along. Okay, down. Hold on. Now what? Oh, I get it. That's why I love Kratos. Because he doesn't play around. Not the top, but we're closer. Wait! That one's not broken! There's a note. A giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. What did you write? 
ask them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? I don't know. Come, boy. It is a long way up. Stay back. We're tunnel boy. Got it. Be careful. Whoa! More tests. Wars must have carved these tunnels around the giant's traps. Good thing, too. Well, good for me, anyway. Oh, come on! That is not helping. See you on the other side. Enemies ahead. Okay, I like this. Another mining way. It may not be as long a way up as we thought. Hold on a second. Just think. Are we still too heavy? Yeah. It's probably because of me. I've been gaining some weight lately, so yeah. It's probably because of me. I'm sorry.
Get it. I should worry more. Is this where we get off? No. We are stuck. You gotta be kidding. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna try to scratch his butt. I think in each video of God of War, I'll complete two realms. I think we're safe now. We like, see. each video, I'm gonna complete a realm. Father, after we scatter Mother's ashes, what then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For yes. now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed, and it has, and our home is no longer safe. But it will be again, and we must continue your training. Okay. You spoke too soon because we're about to fight an electric dragon. Even a dragon? I take it. I take so it is. Come on, come on. Be ready. <laughs> okay, I'll admit that was amazing. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. I, I know what to do. That looks like a root of the Yggdrasil. Is that its sap? Crystallized sap. There's power inside. Yeah, if it's, maybe if it's fused by electricity, then it would work. I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air grows thin here. No more questions. Breathe. Oh, yes. I see. There you guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Sindri! Do you hear that? Sounds like someone's screaming. It's Sindri. Wait, boy! It's Sindri! Can you kill something that big? Yes. If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. Kratos has killed worse. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you. Yeah, cut his tongue. I should wait. Okay, I think I know how to fight it. Hold on.
What now? You're gonna eat me? Forget it, I'll just wait. to lower the crane on my mark. I don't know how this thing works. I do not care. Be ready. Ah. I want to heal myself. Now! 
Never mind, that's my thumbnail shot. Wow. We the thumbnail shot that I took earlier, that's gonna be for tomorrow. And you! Ah! Uh, but, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows. Straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure that I value a weapon's look, no, over its purpose, that I'm pretentious, no, and uptight, fussy, I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. All right, let's get that tooth. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so so unclean. Oh. Hey, oh, hey, you asked for the tooth. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. <laughs> now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, uh, gently, now. Now he has a lightning ability. Now he has a lightning bolt. Whoa. Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um. Oh, oh I see. You figured it out on your own then. Just never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft. Okay. No, just. Anything Feels to like help it wasn't you? that long ago yep. we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined, disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure, I know. It's just, it feels good to be strong, you know? Yes, I know. Want me to shatter it? Alright guys, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Oh. Okay, so you already... Like this. Strange though. That one didn't completely blow up. Hold on one second. So you guys remember about this YouTuber that I told you that I watch? So remember back, so remember years ago when I watched this YouTuber called Desmond Dennis? Yeah, well, I'm watching him again, and I'm actually watching one of his old videos, you know, the high school bully, and also the neighborhood, and also the, yeah, the neighborhood guy. 
Well I, walk, well, I watched one of his videos, and it was a neighborhood guy. And you know that neighborhood, your, you know that neighbor, Yermi Yermi, from the Desmond Dennis, from Desmond Dennis. Yeah, well, I watched him. Yeah, well, I watched that video, and it's actually been a while since I've watched that. So I watched the first one and here's how the story goes. So if you already know, every neighborhood has to have that one guy that you would always see. And in his neighborhood, the guy's name is Yermi Yermi. And everybody knows him because you would see him everywhere you go. And it always sometimes, and sometimes it seems like he's even following you. Because when you see him at one store, he's a, and you go to another store, he's always there. But for overall, it was always good seeing Yermi Yermi. And he always seems to be in a good mood because he's always happy. And he even helps people out. And he even rides his bike while singing. But there was one thing that Yermi Yermi does not play about. And that was his money. One time he was helping someone out and somebody tried to shortchange him. But Yermi Yermi didn't fall for it. So a guy tried to give him five dollars, but he only gave him four dollars and fifty cents. And if he's and if his mind served him right, he was a quarter short. So then he said he was gonna get him next week, but Yermi Yermi did not care. So he chased after him and said, "Find me a quarter! Find me a quarter!" So then he found the quarter and then he gave it to Yermi Yermi. And soon someone was moving in and Yermi Yermi saw him. So he said it, so he introduced himself. And he explained about the neighborhood, about a man that always goes to people's houses. And now he figured out who the man was. And it was Yermi Yermi, as you can tell. And sometimes he sometimes he goes to the man's mailbox. And sometimes he always goes in the man's garage. And sometimes he actually helps the man out when he's setting up his couch. So he, so he gave him $5. And he said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought we were agreeing on $5. And he said, we did. I gave you a tip. But Yermi Yermi does not want a tip. He just only, he just only wants $5. And sometimes when he gets $5... He spends it on things that cost five dollars. One down, two to go. Anyways, back to, back to Yermi Yermi. Anyways, back to the neighborhood guy, Yermi Yermi. He, so if you don't already know this, you're, ah! <coughs> Get the hell out of here. So if you don't already know this, Yermi Yermi, he loves making $5. He doesn't, he does not want a penny more. And he, and he definitely does not want a penny less. And like I said, when he gets $5, he's think, he spends it on thing that costs $5. Okay.
Okay, now we got all the apples. And we've grown, and we grew my health. And now back to Yermi Yermi. And so if you don't already know this, Yermi Yermi had an actual job before. He used to work at Desmond Dennis's school. We must be near the top. He used to work at Desmond, he used to work at the school that Desmond Dennis went to. And he always helps people Not out. Now, but he did some things that that got him fired. Like so, like sometimes when he cleans the jungle gym, he will always walks on, he always play on them, and he always asks kids for five dollars. Like he always say, the summit. We're so close now. Like he always say, hey, do you got five dollars? Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. Broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Hmm. Go. Alright, so anyways. Steady boy. So anyways, he always... Footing. Be ready! Anyways, I think I'm getting the hang he, of this. anyways, he plays in the jungle gym. He asks kids for five dollars, for five dollars. And what? And the last straw was when he got caught playing, playing his phone somewhere. So then he got fired, and he said, "So no five dollars." And he said, "You're gonna get your last paycheck in a week." Okay, we'll yeah, talk about this later. Too, right? Yes. Be silent. Sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. I see you brought company this time. Must be important if a son's of Mamir ordained to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two oh. start tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy. The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? The guy that Why can't feel anything. Balder. You were the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! <laughs> when no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A My tattooed mirror. man traveling with a child. Well, we took their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to thy gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, 
My mere smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just given time. Nobody there. Just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can't we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's yes. the best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. We're going to Jodenheim. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Mm. Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, you will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This. This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. No, oh, I don't want to watch this. Brother. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Brother. The boy. The boy. The longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Uh, so you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. I'm going to cut off your head now. Find the long lost realm of the giants. That's. that's. inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Soon we'll be able to translate those moose behind rooms. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves, south of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemire back. Be nice before you cut off his head. Travel here. Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. 
right. Great, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer God. Balder! And you fought him! And won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with huh. his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. But maybe the last of us kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about my them? kind? I mean, your family. Before mother and I. Where you came from. Mother, father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, fair. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. We are not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Without attitude. So wrapped up in his work, Sentry has a no, thank you. Up. Anyway, the bot. What is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Found it. Back to the witch from here. That way, behind the big statue of Thor. Anyways, you're me, you're me. So, he used to work at the school that Desmond Dennis went to, but he got fired and uh, he chased the principal for not paying him his five dollars. What else were you going to tell me about war? Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. So then. So then soon, Brayton was beating up Desmond as usual. So then Yermi Yermi came and Desmond told him to leave because he doesn't want him to get hurt. So he, so Yermi Yermi said, so how about you just keep your hands to yourself? But then Brayton punched him and soon he, soon he fell down on the ground and Desmond used a line that will make sure. And Desmond used a line to motivate Yermi Yermi to beat up Brayton. He said, pretend Brayton owes you five dollars. Then he woke up and then beat the crap out of Brayton. Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, huh? but you may feed it to the fish. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> that, that seemed pretty cool. But Mimir would not like that. Go to the witch. Yeah. 
This does more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. It also contains the travel. Roll. Should we go visit the fire realm? Smart. Huh. Isn't that heavy? Yes. Doesn't seem heavy. It does seem heavy to you, Atreus, but not to me because I'm a god, boy. And you're a god, too. A demigod. Follow me, Atreus. another one of those bowls of sandals that I drew the runes into not sure how we reach it so as soon as we get to Freya we're gonna end the video Oh wait, ho 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 ho! I forgot to do one thing. You know what? For how about I let you do your thing first? What does it say? Another riddle. Feed me not. Yeah, my 
might be near, like the other. Bow. Oh, wait, I, heard, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, another one. Anyways, back to your memory. So, now in episode two or season two of The Neighborhood Guy, Yermi Yermi saw a new hat that he really liked, but it costs a lot more than what he usually makes because what he usually makes was $5 and he doesn't want a penny more and definitely not a penny less, just $5. And, and again, when he gets that $5, he spends it on a thing that costs $5. So this time, Yermi Yermi wanted to make more money, so that so that's why he decided. So that's when he started. That's when he decided to become smart. So, anyways, Yermi Yermi decided to edge people. I hope he remembers us. So Yermi Yermi decides to edge people's lawn for just ten dollars each, but for some reason his mom weed whacker wasn't working, so he said, "Mom, what's wrong with this weed whacker?" And then Yermi Yermi's mom said, It needs a new battery. And then she said, Then he said, well, When are you going to get a new battery? Then she said, When you finally move out of the house, you're 37 years old, you're 32 years old, and you're still living Boy, with me. Over here. Hold on. Let me read this. All right, time to go to Freya. So anyways, he decided to make more money, but soon one of his neighbors What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. God, this game is so good. Now let's see if Freya is alive. Father, she is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what. Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now, they were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. 
You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Okay, okay, okay! Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? A mirror. Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Yep. Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mila. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Mm. Nice clean cut. Thank you. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked. Let me see him. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the witch in the woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are god. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, mm. but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. So she lied to us. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Or have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and I'll probably see you in the live stream of SMG4 Movie Puzzle Vision. Maybe it's a regular video or a live stream. I don't care, but I'll see you then. Bye-bye.